Well, guests go there for the 51 beers on tap, but inspectors found an infestation of uninvited guests instead. 180 roaches roaming all around the kitchen. Taking action for your safety tonight, we went behind the kitchen doors to see if they cleaned up their act. It's tonight's Dirty Dining Report. Nothing like a cold beer on a hot summer day, especially with 51 taps of world-class beer. But inspectors found something else inside this place you'd never want to ingest. Are you pretty hands-on? I'm here every day. Everybody knows Norm. Uh, I'm here all the time. Norm Haney owns the Tampa Tap Room on Northdale Mabry and was shocked to be temporarily closed by the state. But it, was it that extensive? I, not that I knew of, no, it wasn't that, that extensive. But the state disagrees. According to a June 18th inspection report, this pub had to shut its doors for 22 hours after inspectors found over 180 live and dead roaches in unused beer coolers, under shelving and other areas throughout the kitchen. Norm blames the roaches on one piece of unused equipment he was storing in the kitchen. So where was this piece of equipment piece you were of holding equipment it? Was right here. Taking action for your safety, we've uncovered wow. other food safety issues, including employees failing to wash their hands, raw pork stored over oysters, which can lead to cross contamination, and the cooler not keeping food at a safe temperature. Now they did find some other food safety issues as well with um, all cleared I up. Yep. So you cleared up everything. Everything immediately. But the buildup of grease on all cooking equipment written up recently still looked like they needed scrubbing. Is it harder because the equipment is older, you know, to keep it clean? No, not really. No? Uh, cleanliness is cleanliness. So, you know, you just do, do what you have to do. Like I said, it's an ongoing process. Tampa's tap room problems have been costly, too. An administrative complaint issued last year due to repeat violations not getting fixed cost the restaurant a $1,700 fine. And another complaint and fine in 2012 added up to $1,240. And do you so, partake in the cleaning and the training and everything? I partake in everything. From the purchase of the food to paying the bills to the whole nine yards. So. But Norm believes now his problems are history. So your customers know what to expect? Our customers definitely know what to expect and they're pleased all the time and um, and it's not so going to happen again won't happen again so and i've been uncovering dirty dining restaurants for over 12 years now almost every week so you can check out many of my recent stories on our website at abcactionnews.com slash dining and i'm always looking to keep you safe so if you know of a place not following the rules tip me off go to my facebook page under wendy ryan and wfts like my page and let me know brenda